Okay, hey everybody, welcome to the weekly uh, webinar here at Inside Real Estate. If somebody could just pop in the questions and say, yeah, Ryan, I can hear you, that'd be wonderful. Uh, and that you can see our screens here. Um, and what we have today, we actually have some guest presenters uh, from the, guy, the guys over at Agent Fire. Uh, Luke and Nelson are gonna be with us here in just a second. And they've got a whole uh, nice presentation about being a local expert and the use of uh, specific area pages uh, to get that task on the brand yourself as a local expert. So thank you, Brittany, for letting us know you could hear us. Um, and as soon as Luke jumps in, we'll share the screen. What I have on the screen is our webinars page, uh, insiderealestate.com slash webinars or slash replays. It'll take you to this play page with all the different replays of uh, these webinars and a bunch of other videos, uh, how to's, tips and tricks, stuff from Annalisa as well that you can find on our YouTube channel. So just keep that in mind. If you ever can't make one of these live, we'll get the uh, replay going for you eight, going for you on that channel. So it looks like Luke's here. I see his audio popping in. I'm gonna hand the screen over to him in a second. Um, Nelson, can you hear me? Yep, can, can you hear me? Yeah, so uh, is it okay for me to give Luke the screen now? I certainly hope so. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I see his audio is a little out, so you might get stuck presenting if his audio doesn't pop in. Yeah, yeah, actually, uh, I was hoping to, to give a bit of an introduction and then hand it over to Luke. Yeah, right. I'm here. I'm just muting myself, so there's uh, no background noise. All right, so take it away, guys. Sure, awesome. Uh, well, thanks, Ryan. And uh, hey, guys, so my name is uh, Nelson Cuesta. I'm the uh, very proud, happy owner of agentfire.com. Thanks for thanks for you guys for coming. I see there's... Uh, already over 200 people here, which is uh, awesome. Uh, so so basically, I'll, I'll tell you guys just a little bit about Agent Fire, a little bit about the relationship. I think you guys are here to learn about uh, what we could potentially offer to you, and so I'll try to just focus really, really on that. Um, I guess the first thing I'll just say is we have a, a fantastic uh, relationship with Inside Real Estate. I think our relationship is kind of the, the the symbol of where a lot of this technology stuff is is going, at least, you know, the the the, the better technology stuff, right? So What's cool about our relationship is you guys know that Inside Real Estate has, they have a fantastic CRM, fantastic uh, uh, IDX, they have fantastic tools, right? And so when it came to developing a better uh, single agent website solution, and we, we do teams and brokerages as well, for the, but for the most part and for the purposes of this webinar, we're going to be showing you guys our, our Spark sites, which are these highly customizable Spark site, uh, Spark, uh, websites that work seamlessly with your, your inside real estate stuff. And so when it came to developing a just a, a much higher, better uh, experience there to, to, to give you guys uh, a, a website with more control, with more tools, features, all sorts of integrations. Rather than inside real estate developing that themselves, they went out, they looked, they, they wanted to see, you know, what, what are our, the, what is the best option here? And that's why they came to, to us. Now, Agent Fire, we've been doing custom website stuff for about seven years. Um, we are the number one rated uh, real estate website solution in the entire industry. So if you, tech, if you check our Facebook reviews or, or Google reviews, I don't want to focus too much on the review part. What I do want to focus on is just, uh, we really care about the experience that you guys get. We care about our clients and more than anything, we care that you guys have success. Now, what really separates our websites from anyone else in the industry is, is a huge focus on this idea of hyper-local, right? And so when I, when I started Agent Fire all those many, many years ago, uh, many, many years ago in my, my parents' uh, parents' basement, true story, um, yeah, I, I looked at the industry, Zillow was just kind of coming about and it was, you know, my, my, the big question was how do we, how do we, how do you provide value in an industry that is now rapidly changing, right? Where the agent website, the idea of an agent website and, and what an agent website can do uh, is is changing. And if you guys look around the industry, if you guys look at your, your competitors, um, most individual agent website solutions uh, don't really do anything. They're not that uh, effective and, and they're all just kind of playing the same game. What ends up happening when you have a website that has uh, basic features and, and lacks personality isn't showing your unique value and the unique value that you guys provide to your specific hyperlocal market, you, the specific demographic that you guys are, are trying to target. Uh, if you fail to show, uh, use your website to leverage how you can show value, you're, you're really failing to do anything different than what a what a Zillow is doing, right? Zillow and most competitor websites are just kind of painting in very broad strokes. And so what we what we've found to work really well with our websites and, and the reason that our clients have so much success is because uh, we, we get into this this world of hyper local where we 
we've developed all sorts of uh, cool tools and features that allow you guys to really demonstrate yourselves as the experts within the specific markets that you guys are trying to target within the specific demographics that you guys are trying to target and and you do that by providing value to the people in the in those areas while at the same time you know showing your your personality showing that you're you're uh, a human hopefully a cool human and so the last thing I'll say about Spark Sites before Luke, uh, before I hand it over to Luke, and he's going to go over our area guides system, which you guys may have seen advertised as the, you know, the big hook for this this webinar. It's definitely the favorite feature of our clients here at Agent Fire. Um, the last thing I want to mention is just uh, I know technology can be scary. I know technical things can be scary, and I want to stress that the entire experience of a Spark Site is we've made it as simple and straightforward as it literally could not be simpler not only that but as a, a kind of a special promotion for you guys watching at the end of this webinar we'll talk a little bit about something that we're going to include for free for you guys which is an express setup so as easy as it is to set up a spark site um, the express setup is going to make it even easier again if you stick around to the end of the webinar we're going to include that for free and so what the express setup is is basically you just fill out some forms and we'll actually have a designer build the site for you not only that but we, we're going to give you guys uh, a free hour with a, a customer success specialist so after your beautiful hyperlocal website is built for you perfectly demonstrates uh, you the value that you bring to the specific hyperlocal market that you're trying to focus on you can book in a time with a customer success uh, specialist on our end and they're going to take you through they'll give you a you know a presentation if that's what you you'd like but most of the time what uh, our, our clients prefer to do is to review their specific goals with the website maybe review the individual features that they see that they can get the most benefit from and then we can dial that stuff in even further so uh, again luke's going to show you some of this stuff but uh, i mean just imagine a, a just a beautiful website completely uh, mobile responsive we can have this thing launched within 48 hours and the 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 goal at least initially the goal is going to be to you know figure out how do we communicate your unique value proposition within the website and what, what luke's showing in the background are actually some uh some recent spark sites that we've created for inside real estate clients um, again and the entire integration with Insight Real Estate is seamless. Uh, when you guys go to sign up, and I'll actually just save this part for, for the end. We'll show you guys how to how to get everything set up. But um, I, I just want to stress as much as I possibly can that uh, don't be scared <laughs> of the uh, of the of the technical side of this. I know the idea of setting up a, a, a customized website may seem scary, but we, we've literally made it as easy as filling out a form. And then, and then you book a time with a customer success manager and, and we can then further get things dialed in for you. We can set up unique calls to action. We can, uh, every, all of your, your hopes and, and dreams and everything you're looking to communicate within the site, we're gonna be able to uh, knock out of the park for you. So without further ado, I will hand it over to Mr. Luke. Hey everyone, uh, you know, excited to be here today and show you a little bit more, uh, you know, revolving around our, our Spark sites and, um, you know, in particular, how we help our clients stand out online as that local expert within the markets they service and, and really leverage that hyper-local strategy uh, that Nelson was mentioning. I mean, I, I think just to go off of what he said, uh, again, we have in this, in this world today, a lot of agents that are still trying to uh, fight over that macro. They're still trying to compete with Zillow. And what we try to do here is really help them play a different game and dominate the micro, right? Uh, this is a great article here that really helps, um, you know, our clients find that that perfect hyper local niche, right? And maybe we can link this after after this webinar here. But really, what we encourage our clients to do is is not only uh, laser focus themselves on the different areas that they service that they provide the most value for, but also um, uh, find that perfect audience, right? Really be honest with themselves and, and find that ideal client, whether it's a first time home buyer, upsize or downsize or, you know, luxury properties, whatever, whatever it is, and then create their website experience to really play to those individual interests, right? So that when uh, their visitors are coming to their website um, and comparing you apples to apples to other agents, you're not following 
back into that kind of generic sea of a thousand agents around you, right? Now you're actually speaking to them directly about the things that that potential client is interested in and they can see that you are the perfect person to work with, right? And really one of the most important aspects to achieving that on your agent fire site is with our area guides tool. So I'm on one of our client sites right here and I've clicked on their our areas tab and you see here some of the areas that they really like to feature, uh, sorry, that they like to really like to service and they're featuring on, on their website. And when you click on these pages here, you will see that you have this really great area page full of market and demographic information, uh, listings for that area. Uh, you even have um, uh, this client here include things like uh, photos for this area. We also pull in school data for um, each of these area guide pages and uh, this kind of lifestyle section with the top rated Yelp businesses in various different categories. Um, so one of the most important things to note about these pages is that they're management free. Uh, so all this information you're seeing here actually automatically comes into these pages from a data provider called Home Junction. So Home Junction is just a leader in the United States for market data and it automatically updates on this page. So you're always uh, presenting your audience with just the most relevant information possible without you actually having to lift the finger. Actually, when it comes to even setting up these area pages, even though you can do it yourself within a couple clicks, uh, we actually take care of it for you, right? Uh, we really wanna make sure to do as much heavy lifting for our clients as possible. And so, um, you know, included with your Agent Fire website, we will set up your area guide pages initially for for you. Uh, but really, um, you know, quickly, some of the key benefits of this area pages and why they work is uh, for one, obviously for buyers, this is very important information, right? This is information that they want to know, that they want to see to help them make uh, more um, effective purchasing decisions. And again, it shows that you are that local expert within these, these areas that you're servicing. But these also work for sellers as well, because sellers want to know that you are the expert in the areas they're selling in their homes, as well as that you can attract the appropriate buyers for them. Uh, so this is um, a really great addition to your website that immediately is going to help separate you uh, from all those other agents around you, as well as play a different game uh, than Zillow. Um, and uh, outside of just what's already included into this core, there's some really um, cool customizations that you can do as well to get even better results. Uh, so for instance, if you are someone who is interested in ranking higher in search engines like Google, uh, you know, through SEO, um, you know, this, these pages can really help you uh, in those efforts. Uh, as we all know, real estate is extremely competitive when it comes to their keywords. It's very difficult to rank, but when you start really diving down to these individual niches, these specific areas, well, that SEO competition starts to lessen, which means you may have an opportunity to rank higher and get some more of that organic traffic. And when it comes to SEO and ranking on Google, the number one rule is content is king. Relevant content is going to help you rank higher and everything on your agent fire site, including what's on these area pages is SEO friendly. So what you see here on the Bard Warner site, which is an inside real estate client, what they've done with their um, uh, area guide page is they've written out these really great descriptions with lots and lots of content on here that's relevant to this area. And so now when uh, search engines like Google crawl their site and crawl these areas, they're going to have all these really keyword rich content that's going to help them uh, rank higher. And not only do, can you add in these custom descriptions, but we actually can write them for you. So we do offer content writing services where again, we will uh, you know, take care of uh, that side of things if, if you uh, don't want to enter them in yourself. Uh, but in addition to um, adding in this description, you can also add in uh, blog posts as well to your area pages. So again, adding a few area specific blog posts to these 
these area pages can really help provide more organic content that's going to help you uh, rank higher. And I, I know probably most of you are sitting there thinking, oh God, blogging, I mean, this is just, that's just a really tedious task to do, but uh, we really do have you covered when it comes to our blogging tools. So two, really quickly, two quick ways that you can add blog posts to your Agent Fire site. One is you can add in uh, blog feeds via Blog Assist. So what these do is you can go into any website that has a blog feed. You can copy and paste the link here like I've done on my uh, demo site here. And then when you go create a new blog post, it feeds in all of those different um, uh, posts from these, from these feeds that you can now just click and blog about. So if I quickly want to, you know, have something for a buyer blog idea, or this site's for Maui, so some, maybe some news for Maui, I can just filter that down. You know, I can find an article that's going to pique my uh, particular interest, and then, you know, quickly blog about that. But if you guys are someone that want to be completely hands off, we do also have a text broker integration, and text broker is a company that offers uh, content writing services, and directly within your dashboard, you can just hit this add content content button and order content through text broker and uh, a copywriter will actually write that article for you will uh, make sure that it is targeted to the specific keywords you want and you don't have to do a thing right they write it you submit your revisions if there are any and then once it's ready you can just click a button and post it right it's just that easy so we we really make it um, um, effective for you to leverage that that organic strategy with your website and with these area guides to, to really help you uh, rank better on, on search engines like Google. But uh, when it comes to, you know, area pages like this, you know, and, and the SEO benefits and all that kind of stuff, that's all well and good, but it really doesn't mean anything if you can't actually convert that traffic, right? And so we have a couple really great ways that you can uh, leverage your Agent Fire tools uh, to convert more of the traffic that's landing on these particular pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head over to my demo site here, Maui Homes, and just show you um, a couple quick examples on how you can convert on these area pages. And and note. These are all things that we can set up for you, right? Our client success managers um, are always, uh, you know, ready to help. Our support's always ready to help. Um, so again, don't feel that you guys are going to be left alone to to do this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is. Um, first introduce you to what's called our engage tool so our engage tool allows you to uh, create call to actions and target them to any page post area anything like that on your website so this allows you uh, to really target a call to action and its value offering based off of where someone's at on your website and what they're particularly interested in so for instance if i go to uh, central maui here which is uh, an area page uh, we can safely assume assume that a lot of the um, uh, visitors landing on this page are most likely going to be buyers interested in homes in central Maui. So as they're scrolling through this sorry I think I got muted there hopefully I'm back um, can you guys hear me still you are there sir five by five hey guys uh, I think that's not just me who's hearing that Luke you're um... Your mic's messed up a little bit, I think. It's just, it, uh, go go to meeting keeps on muting me and unmuting me. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's, technical it, difficulties. It, yeah, it's saying that the organizer is muting me. I don't know. Let's, maybe it's working now, I'm not. Hey guys, can you hear me still? I can hear you, yes. All right, yeah, I'm not too sure what's happening there. Hey, look, why don't you try uh, maybe logging out, logging back in? I could try to just take over. Um... I'll try. I'll try phoning in. Okay. And let me see if I could just try to open up Luke's uh, screen. Don't want to keep you guys waiting. Demo that the Spark. Site.com. 
So anyway, what, what Luke was introducing was our uh, Engage CTA tool. I'll just just talk quickly to to that real quick while he's calling in. So so basically, if you guys are familiar with uh, with call to actions, and this is actually, uh, I would say, also one of the one of the favorite features of clients here here at Agent Fire, like a traditional call to action, right? You, you go to a, a real estate agent website, and you'll usually see uh, like a what's my home worth call to action or a perfect home finder call to action. And these will usually be displayed, you know, pretty randomly. Hey, look, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, you sound like you're pretty far away though. I don't know if you can plug your mic into your phone. Yeah, I, I, my mic's in my phone right now. Okay, yeah, that works. Yeah. Is, is this better? Yeah, I think so. As long as you're not getting cut off. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know what was happening there. I kept on saying the organizer was muting me. I'm not too sure why. Um, but hopefully uh, I can pick up where I left off here. Uh, so again, talking about you know, converting uh, so, on the... Yeah, let me just finish what I was... Uh, all I'm going to say oh, regarding, regarding our CTA tool is that the, what the really cool thing about it is that we basically have the perfect CTA targeted to every single page within your site. So let's say someone lands on the homepage, we can target them with a, a schedule, a call, CTA. If you guys have a special sort of offer, maybe you guys are in a market where you have some sort of special rebate or you you are you as an agent have something special that maybe you, you offer sit-downs at Starbucks or whatever it is, we can target unique call to actions to individual uh, pages. So if someone's on a buyer related page, we can target them with a buyer guide. We actually will build out a, uh, every, every year we have this, uh, with these buyer and seller guides that we give to all of our clients. We, we just set them up for you. Like they're, they're automatically set up for you. And so you can target a buyer guide to buyer page, a seller guide to a seller page. Uh, anything that you can think of as far as a, a call to action, we can create using our system and then target to individual pages, which is really, really cool. So what Luke is showing you guys right now is an example of a, of, and we have different CTA types. Like we've created all of the highest converting CTAs that we've tested in our own marketing campaigns. And then we, uh, we, we automate all of that for you. So you'll have all of this just available to you in your back end. And then if you want to create something custom, you can do that. So uh, Luke, go ahead and take over for, um, for the Yeah. And, and thank you for, thank you for that, Nelson. Um, so yeah, and, and going off what he said, you know, pairing that perfect CTA uh, to a particular area of your site. So for instance, with the central Maui homes here, uh, targeting buyers as that visitor is scrolling down, what I've done is set up um, one of our CTA styles called an engage alert. So you should see it fly on the page here in a second where you can actually leverage your agent um, image, uh, your name, and uh, in really a conversational way, um, a message that's going to help uh, entice users to click this particular um, call to action. So, you know, click here to check out my handpicked list of the hottest new properties in central Maui, right? Uh, so because you're playing to their interests, you now have a higher chance of them actually clicking it. So when I click it here, uh, what I've done is I've directed this traffic to actually one of our convert pages. So another tool here at Agent Fire is instead of having to go out and use landing page tools like Instapage, for instance, you can use our convert page tool right inside of your dashboard to load up these pre-built um, uh, lead page templates uh, to help convert uh, traffic with. So I've uh, sent them to this page so that when they fill out this form here, I can then redirect them to uh, a KV Core uh, save search if I would like to, or drip them uh, that um, you know particular listing in a uh, drip, and uh, even redirect them to our save search tool here, uh, which I have set up here uh, with an IRE save search, uh, in, and you can just you know instantly show them uh, those those listings. Uh, so. You know, this is a really great way that you can take those area guides and instantly start converting the traffic on there. And then for those who are uh, specifically interested in maybe leveraging um, pay-per-click ads, with these area guide pages, there's there's lots of really great ways you can leverage them, uh, in whether it's a Facebook ad or a Google ad. Uh, so one uh, strategy that we actually highlighted in in our Spark Marketing blog recently was uh, with your area page, for instance. Uh, one thing you don't want to do is force a registration, right? Because that's going to really kind of upset your natural flow of traffic. That can really increase the bounce rates. Um, um, on your website. So what happens when you want to set up, let's say, a Facebook ad and all those tr paid traffic that you're setting to this page, for instance, uh, you want to make sure that you have the highest opportunity of just converting them. Uh, so what you can do is in our Engage tool uh, is actually set what's called an Engage link. 
So each CTA you set up, you can actually set a custom link to it, which when you add this link to any page, will load up that call to action. So here on this East Maui page, if let's say I set up a Facebook ad and I want to make sure I'm converting as much of that paid traffic as possible without disturbing the organic flow of my website for everyone else, I can add this uh, little engage link here. And what I'll actually have to do is just completely reload this page. And when I now send traffic to this link, it's going to load up that, uh, sorry, it didn't work there because I need to completely reload it. Now it should work. Not too sure why it's not. Well, that's embarrassing. I may have already used this before and exited out of it, so it's probably not prompting again because of uh, the safe you cookie. The, uh, when you want to paste it in, you pasted it in the wrong spot. So uh, if you just reload the page without the hashtag, look, you're adding that backslash at the end. Like you just. Oh yeah, that. that's that's right. Yeah, that's right. You're you're right there. Yeah. There we go. Um, thanks, Nelson. So uh, here we can see that I've have this social site locker set up to be an engaged link. So now, whenever I'm sending uh, that traffic to this particular link, it's locking down this page to make sure that um, we're getting those people's information, uh, you know, before actually showing them that that valuable content uh, behind it. Uh, so these area guide pages, again, they work on a lot of fronts, right? Um, you know, just you know, by just having them set up on your website, you're already starting to play that hyper-local game. You're, you're separating yourself from the competition, from sites like Zillow. Uh, then you kind of have these really unique um, organic benefits to those pages that can help you rank better on Google. And then you have uh, access to really great lead converting tools, whether you're just converting that organic traffic that's landing on your website or uh, you're sending, um, you know, pay traffic directly to these pages and converting them with uh, things like our engage links here. Um, but other than that, I think uh, uh, that's about add. it that I wanted to cover for area guides. Nelson, if you had anything else to add. Yeah, I, I'd love to just add some stuff. So I'm actually, when I when I first launched Asian Fire uh, many years ago, area guides was the, and back then I called it the hyper local area content system, which uh, you guys can probably understand why we had to shorten that. But um, you know, when, when I first launched it, the idea was to, again, cr give uh, give agents the ability to have something that not only ranked well in search engines that could be used to capture more leads, but also uh, just help to give them a feature that you're not going to get on, uh, or something you're not going to experience on, on Zillow or on, on a competitor website. And so uh, Luke went over some of this stuff at, at the beginning, uh, I think a little bit Maybe, I don't know if you guys caught some of the subtle nuances of uh, of of the actual area page itself. Look, if you want to just bring up uh, any area page, or preferably one that has you know some some nice stuff on it. But you know, one, one of the cool things again, Luke mentioned, you can add uh, unique area descriptions. You can add uh, photos and and videos. And this is stuff that'll not only help the page to rank better, but again, also uh, when you're thinking about you know, let's say you're in a, a Facebook group and someone's asking a question about a specific neighborhood, or maybe you're on even on on Zillow. If you guys get into to some of the the Q and A uh, Q and A stuff there, which is actually a great uh, opportunity, great place to to pick up new clients. Um, you can just link them to these individual pages on on your website, right? This is uh, part of the the idea behind area guides is again the idea is to, to do heavy lifting for you if someone's interested in a specific community whether that person be in your a, a client that you're actively dealing with or someone that you're potentially going to be dealing with there's nothing better than being able to send them to an actual area page filled with uh, your description again you can add photos videos uh, and then all of this rich information what's cool about this information for example the quick facts that uh, Luke is is um, cruising by is this stuff will actually update dynamically based on like the quick facts will actually show the most interesting uh, fact based on the individual area a lot of these the stats uh, on the top um, they'll actually uh, they'll actually adjust based on uh, based on the individual area itself to highlight you know the, the particular strengths or, or stats that are just particularly noteworthy for the area if you guys are writing a blog let's say for a specific area you can't see it on this on this uh, example page but you can actually link your or maybe you can uh, but you can actually link your up oh, there you go you can actually link your blogs to the uh, the individual area pages on your site um, we have this uh, incredible Yelp integration which we just developed about uh, well a couple months ago and so it'll actually pull in the top 10 
businesses in all, all of the categories that people care most about uh, directly into these area pages. And so, and so every single section on this page is updating uh, dynamically. Uh, what's cool about Yelp and what's cool about uh, our, our company as a whole as well is that we're, we're constantly developing, uh, we're constantly building out upgrades. So this entire area guide system is actually, we're in the process of building out a, a complete uh, revamp of it. And, and so, and these are updates that we push out to all of your sites automatically. So not only is all of the data on the page updated uh, automatically, so you don't have to lift a finger, obviously the the description and the photos and videos and stuff that you guys would go in and add yourself, but the even just the updates to the website as far as the improvements to the features and functionality of your site uh, are constantly, constantly, constantly receiving updates. So, um, yeah, just wanted to add add that. Hope that was useful. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, thanks for that. So Nelson, where, where do we want, want to go from here? I guess um, we could probably tell uh, any of uh, the people attending today uh, if they want to maybe book in a one on one demo with one of our product specialists. Maybe we can include the link on on you know where they can do that, um, as well as um, uh, maybe Ryan. I don't know if you have any information to share with them in terms of how they can, if they are wanting to get signed up with our Spark sites, how they do that, and um, and how we can leverage that free express setup that you were offering them. Yeah, yeah. The best way is going to be through the marketplace page in the dashboard, um, and you'll see the agent fire tab inside there, and you just go through that process. I think we have it linked to the demo request with you guys, right, or a direct sign up. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So you're saying in that marketplace tile are, are demo links directly in there? Yeah, in the um, I'll, do, I'll double check here in another window. But if if you do go into the marketplace in KV Core or even uh, then you'll see the Agent Fire tab and it'll walk you through the process there. There are awesome. a couple of questions. Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, so Tom had asked. Is the IDX search through KV Core, or is it a separate IDX search tool? Uh, and if so, how does do the search results interface with KV Core CRM? So uh, we're still connected to the CR, the IDX of which you would be connected to, Tom, via your brokerage on uh, KV Core, as far as I understand. Is that correct, gentlemen? Yes. Yeah, so uh, you're seeing on the Bard Warner site here, yeah. it's using the KV Core IDX. So uh, anything that's IDX related, um, any of the leads and safe searches and things that happen here will go inside of your KV Core CRM, as well as when you set up your Spark site, it automatically will pull over your KV Core API key, your token there. And so that even when you're using your agent fire tools, like an engage CTA, convert page, anything like that, mm -hmm. all those leads will uh flow through our lead manager and automatically uh, get pushed to your KV Core CRM. So all of your leads, whether it's on an IDX page or an agent fire tool, uh, will all get sent over uh, to your KV Core CRM. All day, every day, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, someone had asked, do we need to have a Yelp account to see some of this information that we shared? No, so everything that you see on the area guides page is automatically filtered in. You don't have to lift a finger. The only thing that you can, you know, customize yourself is adding in blog posts, adding in um, area descriptions, um, and then adding in images. Uh, anything with the content side, the descriptions or the blog posts, uh, they're both uh, DIY uh, options and totally done for you options as we went through today. Awesome. And I think there was one more, but I'm just going to catch up with the questions. Uh, and then Jay was asking, hey, can we bring content like text images and blogs from other WordPress sites in for us? So like if they have a WordPress site, can we bring those items in? Yeah, I'll answer that. So uh, when you're uh, going through the express setup forms, where it's like, okay, we're going to include for free as a thank you for coming to this webinar. Uh, we, we actually have a section where we'll ask you if you need to, if you have an existing website, if you do, uh, we can do a, a, a WordPress import. So you can export all of the website the, uh, the content on that WordPress site, we can import it into the, into the Spark site. Um, if you have, you know, custom plugins and what have you on that site, it won't be a perfect import, but at least as far as uh, posts, pages, uh, even posts and, and pages may get a little wiry, but at least all the content will pull in and then we'll get pulled in and then, right. um, you know, we could, we could style and it. And dust it off a little bit. 
Exactly. Yeah, and, and one other thing to note there, if anyone's worried about losing um, some of their SEO juice for any rankable content that they do have on their existing site, uh, we use a, a WordPress plugin called Yoast. Uh, Yoast is used by millions of websites and, and SEO professionals. Uh, so one benefit there is we can set up what's called uh, 301 redirects. So any new uh, pages set up that are under a, a new URL, uh, we use that to help preserve all their um, SEO value. Awesome. And there is another question. Uh, so when we're looking at like this hyper local, this micro look into our community, how many areas can they access? Is there a cap or is there a recommendation? Do you have like a, uh, what would you yeah. say? Yeah, so, um, you know, there's there's not really any limit there. You see, um, like, a client like Barb Warner, who's obviously a, a, a large brokerage, they, they have a lot of different areas and neighborhoods listed here. Um, mm -hmm. My my personal opinion is to keep it under 25 different areas and neighborhoods try to be again it's about being hyper local so really just try to be as laser focused as as possible into the areas that you are most knowledgeable uh in as well as that you can provide the most value for right so dominate that micro uh but we obviously understand that there's some you know you know, teams and, and, and regions and things like that where you may need to add more and, and it's totally up to you. Okay, uh, Scott asking, hey, I have a Facebook marketing team and I just hired Google Partner uh, to company for my local partner, part, mar, the market, there we go. Uh, would this offering dovetail with that type of vendor relationship or partnership? Um, Sorry, Nelson. Is this maybe this is more in your wheelhouse? Is, is, so is he asking like, is will would our would, could they use our tools to benefit what they're doing on the marketing like what this third party agency is doing on the marketing side with like their paid ads and things like yes. that? Yes. Yeah, that's what I believe. Yeah. So you make that money ROI coming in and make take advantage of all the connections. Yeah. I, I yeah. Would I say, mean, uh, oh, sorry. I'll go ahead. answer this question. Yeah. So I I do I do. Uh, I, I, yeah, hundred percent. So I would say it multiplies it. So a couple of things. One is, you know, we have that convert pages system that Luke uh, brought up onto the screen for a couple of seconds. And so what's cool about that is we have our own marketing wing here at Agent Fire, and basically any any landing page that converts really well, we we just add to your your sites for you guys to use. So uh, this is and and. If you, if you have a let's say a marketing person that's going to be going in and setting this stuff up, there's no coding. I mean, it's you literally just pick the uh, the landing page, the convert page that you want. And so we have convert pages. Again, our focus is hyper local. So we have convert pages set up for individual niches. Like we have a, a new construction uh, school district. And so you would just go in and you can click the area that you want to, you want to edit. Um, and again, this stuff is, is battle tested. So it's not like we're, we're guessing. I mean, it's basically just the, the cream of the crop converting landing pages are the stuff that we will add to your sites for you. And, and again, this will just, mm -hmm. this is, it's not like you have to ask for it. It just gets added in, uh, automatically and yeah and if you guys are sending people to these uh landing pages through your your paid google ads through your your facebook ads uh, again another cool thing my, my phone just heard me and thought i was talking to it um my another <laughs> cool thing is uh with the with the engage tool that we have you can use you, you can uh and this this works awesome like we had a client in colorado springs that we we, we actually have an article where we were able to generate uh 2000 leads for her for it's like a few dollars per per lead uh and, and and really high quality leads downsizing leads and one of the ways that we were able to do that is because all of the traffic that we were sending to her landing pages we had a secondary offer that was queued up with that engaged ah, tool. so okay. people would come into the landing page they'd fill out their information we captured lead but if they want to go leave the page we actually had our engaged tool our engaged tool has an exit intent call to action that would pop up as people were, were trying to leave the page and so we had that pop up with a secondary offer and that secondary offer uh, for, you know for her specific market she has some sort of uh, military she, her focus is military relocation There's some sort of military discount and so anyway we use this engage tool to create a unique call to action with information about that that uh, military rebate and uh, and we were able to ca uh, capture it was over 30 percent more leads 30 percent more leads because of uh just because of a, a call to action that we said so th th that 30 percent additional leads that would have just we would not have captured if we didn't have a, a call to action set up so um hopefully that answers your question i believe so uh, there are a couple of more here. Uh, if I have a vanity domain on my KV course site, would that transfer over to the Agent Fire site? Do we know that, Ryan? 
I believe I'll they do because when you I think yes. it would. Yeah, when you order through your KV Core Marketplace, you do have options to yeah. um, use a vanity domain or a subdomain. Yeah, I, I'm on 99.99, but I'm just going to double check to be sure and get back with you on on that, Lisa. And let's see, we just spoke about IDX. Uh, Tom is saying, so is the link in the marketplace for Agent Fire? Yes, so that's the Spark site via Agent Fire. You can click into that to learn more, book a demo, etc. And someone's saying, yes, does it work in Canada? Yes, it works in Canada. Uh, so sorry. Uh, sorry, one 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 thing uh, there for Canadian uh, yeah. Canadian users. Yes. So. Uh, there's um, a couple different services that we have that are US specific. So um, I'm actually from Canada. Uh, so uh, one thing with our area guides tool is that the automated market data is only available for the US. In Canada, this uh, we don't have this type of uh, access to, to market data like the US does. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can still use these area pages. You can still populate the listings, enter in descriptions and all this kind of stuff. But all the automated market data, Yelp data, things like that uh, will not feed into your site. However, um, for the market data points like these area highlights here and the demographic data, uh, you can enter that in manually, right? So um, I'm not too sure which board this individual is a part of, but for instance, mm -hmm. with like the TREB board in, in Canada here, uh, you have access to market reports every month and you can easily go in and, and key that in. There's actually a site here that I can show you quickly, uh, realtyberry.com. Uh, so this site is, is a Canadian uh, client. So if I were to go to their areas, um, it won't have automated data, but still have set those, um, some of those points up using um, just the manual data. So we just pulled from those market reports, set those in, and then what they've actually done is just linked uh, to the full PDF market reports that Canadian boards supply uh, their agents now. Uh, so there is still ways um, around this to, to make it effective on your website with really, um, uh, you know, little um, uh, work required. Awesome. That's fantastic. I love that you had that manual option too. Yeah. And the rest are questions about where to find it. So to learn more about this, go ahead and click on the left-hand side of your dashboard, everyone. And you can click on that little marketplace tile. I think it's like the fifth or sixth option down on the left. And then look for the Agent Fire Spark site tile. And that's where you can learn more about it, opt in for a demo with these uh, folks and, and learn some more information as well. I think we'll do also, it recorded. It is, and it'll be sent out to everyone as well. Go ahead. Sorry about that. No, I was going to say, I think what we'll do is, you know, everyone that's sharing this webinar, I think we have the option to, or the ability to send a, an email, right? So we could, uh, I could get all the links sent to, to you guys as far as where to book a demo, um, maybe additional information links. Uh, Luke could link that article at the, uh, mm -hmm. or he showed the article at the beginning. So is it that possible? That would be great. Okay, great. Yeah, and, and I'm sure you guys want to even just see examples of, of sites that, that we've set up. Um, just to, to uh, we didn't touch too much on the design of these sites today, but it, the, the design is, it's, the sites are beautiful and you have lots of options. And again, the goal is to give you guys something that is unique, that this doesn't look like everyone else's website, but that's also mm -hmm. ultra uh, modern and um, fully responsive across any any device size. And, and uh, yeah. And uh, Gordon's saying, is there, a, is there a contract to this? Is it month to month? How does that work? Um, so I believe for KV Core users, it, it, it uh, shows that in the marketplace. I believe you guys have um, a six-month contract, and it's month to month. All the details are in your KV Core marketplace, okay. so maybe Ryan can confirm that. But I can, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that, that information tied up and, and added out there. I'm trying to say, I think there was another one from Soren. Uh, so Soren was saying, hey, I have a custom domain. If I bring that in and use it with Agent Fire, is that going to pull information within that website or is it a separate platform? I would think she could put it there and forward it or no. What, what, what do you think, guys? I'm not too sure, quite sure if I, I understand the question there. Um, so I, uh, is she asking if she can use a custom do domain for her Spark site? 
um, yes. or just set it as a redirect. Yeah, I mean, all of our sites, when they're ready to go live, so they're built on a staging environment, so you'll get a little subdomain just while it's uh, being built. And then once you guys are ready to go live, uh, you would um, you know, request that with our team, and then uh, we'll get specific you know, access to your domain to make sure it populates your site under it. Um, and we never take over control of your actual domain. It always stays with, with you. Um, so you don't have to worry about transferring it to us and then later if you you know decide to leave having to transfer it back or anything like that it's it's always stays in, in your control but yes once your site's ready to go live you approve it we set it up underneath your custom domain on our servers awesome and I'm just gonna scroll through oh, I think one just popped in all right so this will be the last question we can wrap up here uh, it sounds like this is a KD core plug in uh, so Soren, this is so what we're looking at here is the the KD Core marketplace item called Agent Fire, and it's the Spark site, which is an enhancement you can utilize on your domain. So you do have the domain of which comes with your dashboard that you have access to do some editing with and customize content, and you have the options of vanity domains, add-on domains, as well as looking into WordPress and Agent Fire, which is pretty awesome because of the hyper-local content. So I think that that's the last one. Awesome. And yeah, well, so, uh, thanks so much, guys. Yeah, I appreciate uh, you having you having us on today, and, and I hope uh, – uh, everyone got to see some of the benefits we can we can offer them with their with their real estate websites. Yeah, you know, I'll just mention very briefly that in the marketplace tile, you can actually watch a full demo video. We just covered a couple of the features today, and I mean, you guys just saw maybe the tip of the iceberg as far as everything that is available within a Spark site. But if you guys check out that marketplace tile, uh, you can check that out for more information. You can check that out for again, there's a, a, I think two videos in there. One of them shows a, uh, shows how to actually set up the Spark mm -hmm. site through the marketplace tile. The other one is a, a brief overview of uh, some of the features and what's included. And uh, again. We are including the uh, Express setup for free if you guys want to move forward with, uh, with the Spark site. That's awesome. Uh, well, everyone, I will be uh, formatting this and editing it, and I will be uploading it on the KD, the Inside Real Estate Success Strategies uh, discussion group. We'll be emailing it out to everyone, and it'll be available to you within your chat conversations where you normally see some of the uh, support conversations. Or we also send informational out via that section as well. So thanks everyone for being here. We'll get uh, these uh, formatted and posted and anything else to add? Yeah, one more thing, Alexa. Thank you, Nelson and Luke. Um, at three o'clock today, we have our team webinar. So for team leaders, uh, even brokers, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of stuff uh, about recruiting um, recruiting landing pages using KV Core's uh, landing pages feature. But great stuff, Luke and Nelson. Thanks again, and thanks everybody for being on. Yep. Sure, thanks guys. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Ciao. -bye.